Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 1, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. This crucial legislation before us today marks the first time in 31 years Congress has considered a major overhaul to the current tax code that is overly cumbersome, wildly outdated, and riddled with special interest loopholes. Mr. Speaker, it's obvious there's a great deal of frustration and anxiety in our country. I truly believe it's due to the fact uh, the economic recovery has not reached every household. Throughout South Florida, I hear from families and small businesses who are worried about saving for their kids' college or making payroll. While the stock market is humming and unemployment is low, wages have been stagnant and the so-called recovery has left way too many people behind. And that's why this bill is so important. This legislation will collapse and lower current tax rates to ensure a typical middle-income family in South Florida will receive about $1,500 in tax relief. For married couples, it doubles the standard deduction from $12,000 to $24,000, drastically simplifying the process of filing taxes each year for over 90% of Americans while allowing taxpayers to keep more of their hard-earned money. The bill also expands the child tax credit from $1,000 to $1,600 per child, a benefit that will be seen by 43,760 taxpayers in Florida's 26th district. And we're also making it easier to save for college by expanding 529 plans to cover more expenses, including apprenticeship programs. All these benefits will directly help alleviate the increasing cost of raising a family. On the business side, this bill gives American companies of all sizes, especially our smaller enterprises and entrepreneurs, a chance to compete and win in the new globalized economy. By providing businesses with lower tax rates, we will make it easier for our job creators to invest here at home and increase paychecks for American workers. Mr. Speaker, as a proud member of the Ways and Means Committee, I commend Chairman Brady, his staff, and the members of this House who will soon support this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to ensure we provide all Americans, especially the most vulnerable, the opportunity to find their economic success. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I request to engage in a colloquy with the Chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Gentleman is recognized for purposes of a colloquy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Chairman Brady, I want to thank you for working with me to begin addressing the important issue of helping our fellow American citizens in Puerto Rico. After the devastating effects of Hurricanes Irma and Maria, our committee delivered immediate results for the island through a disaster tax relief package targeted to help people get back on their feet. And while it will take at least months for the island to fully recover, we are providing even more assistance to Puerto Rico with the legislation being considered today. I want to thank you for helping us extend the rum cover over to $13.25 per proof gallon to be paid back to the treasuries of both Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands through 2023. I'm also grateful that under this bill, companies operating in Puerto Rico can deduct Attributable to domestic production activities retroactively for the year 2017. Moving forward, I'm hopeful we can work together to find creative solutions to better target the child tax credit to serve more Puerto Rico families and study the expanded use of the earned income tax credit for the Commonwealth. In addition, I look forward to continuing to work on solutions to ensure the businesses operating on the island have the certainty they need in terms of tax planning to hire more workers and strengthen Puerto Rico's economy. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman from Texas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker yielding myself 30 seconds, I would note that uh, uh, families in Connecticut's uh, uh, first district will see an average tax cut of 3,858 and grow jobs by 11,000 jobs. Mr. Curbelo, you and Resident Commissioner Gonzalez Colon have been tireless advocates for the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. I appreciate the hard work you've done to help our fellow citizens on the island. I agree. This tax reform bill is a good first step, and I look forward to working to, with you on ideas to best serve the people on this island. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 